What's up, minions? Samway 84 here. In this review, I'm going to be reviewing the undersized Combiner Wars Devastator. And this is coming from CBB Cool Become Brave, a field army is what they're calling them. Uh, so, and it's called Cool Change up here. And then this word, uh, Takigzons. And of course, on the back it shows this, which is just pretty much you know, taken from the original Commander Wars Devastator. He is not 18 inches, you all know that. I like the bio here. Superion is driven by one thing and one thing only a desire to obliterate the enemy. He attacks Anime Mountain on the ground or in the air with all that force. All right. So, is that? Of course, he comes with what you see here all the little. Add on goodies for weapons and to become a devastator. This piece here showing you how to attach a hook's crane, which was not attached at all in the package, which is what I have now attached. All right, so here's Field Army again. They all named Field Army. Size comparison that's him next to a deluxe. Chrome Dome from Power of the Primes. And Long Haul is always the big one, and he is a lot bigger even compared to the other Constructor Cons. He is massive. Of course, he forms the entire waist, and so he's got to be thick and chunky for that. He, he's where all the fat goes. He is of a thick butt. Now, overall, in vehicle mode, this guy is awesome looking. Now, if you like the Combiner Wars, you're going to like these because they are just the exact replicas just sized small size to deluxe scale now details and everything translated over and the only problem with these guys is pretty much the plastic isn't as good and also uh so far with the uh, scrapper and hook i'm having problems with keeping things tabbed together so i'm hoping here this long haul will help you know, rectify that problem, and he won't have that problem. Then you can see where the Decepticon logos are, have been changed, of course, and you'll want to change those up yourself with some uh, repo labels from Toy Hacks, or you can call them Toy Hacks labels, whatever you want to call them. All right, let's transform long haul. Which one? Hold on. So, oh, he rolls beautifully. He is beautiful. I don't think these guys do seem to roll pretty good. All minus hook. All right, so transform a long haul or untapped. There we go. Get all the front part and tab. It's all one piece. It's on the hinge. Bring it up and over. And it pretty much just comes around. See this little slot here? This will just tab right on into that. And so by doing that, we sort of already knocked his arms out. We can now untab that from his waist. They tab into these little tabs on the side. And they just go right into the slot here. So you got his arms freed. Bring him up on the hinges. Alright, so now we come back here to his backpack. Now you see this piece here, this little tab will go right in the slot here. Bring it down, tab it in. His head is hiding down here. Bring that out, there's a little notch. If you got fingernails, you can get a hold of it. Bring it up. Beautiful head sculpt. Now his legs are right here. What you want to do with these bad boys is first you want to take his waist. And you want to swivel this sucker around. And you re tab back in this backpack. Came undone. Feet down and around. They're right on the sides here. Okay. There we go. Turn down and around. You'll recognize these as the hip pieces that hold on to the legs. And you are done. And there is Long Haul. Now he is the bigger, beefier of the Constructicons. We'll show him off here next to Scrapper. Scrapper is one of the shorter of the Constructicons in the Combiner Wars as well. Off next to what is essentially the height of an aerial bot. So he's pushed the same height here as Long Haul. And then with Siege Megatron. Now Long Haul just looks kind of funky. Because of how wide he is. Articulation. If you have the Combiner Wars. You know what you're getting. So you do have a waist swivel. 
it's really loud and clickety. Of course, the ankle tilts like this. Legs are ratcheted because they will become the thighs for Devastator. Head can swivel or rotate. And there is some down, but not as much up. Arms can 360. No elbow bends, but there are this weird side-to-side -side elbows going on. And, and he's got knees. I mean, his legs are so stu stubby, you know, why not use that anyway. Now, overall, as a figure, I was not impressed with the Combiner Wars long haul anyway. This one pretty much rubs me the same way. He is built awkwardly just for the use of Devastator. So, makes Devastator a more thick bot. He had to be more of a thick bot. So, overall, I'm more pleased with the tabs and everything on him than I was on Scrapper. And I hope that keeps going with then I get to all the other of the Constructicons. But he is a good looking bot. Really love the paint apps on this guy. They are again excellently done. All this paint here, the silver, the red, the face. So I'm not going to knock any of that. And he feels a bit more sturdy than I would say um, Scrapper does. And of course that could just be because he is thick. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Keep a look out. I will try to keep each time doing these videos. I'll reference the one prior and just look for all of them together. And I will be doing the main one when I combine them all into Devastator. Anyway, this is the Cool Become Brave, the CBB undersized Devastator. Till the next video. So. Oh,